This is one of the most important and exciting examples of 18th century European porcelain to appear on the art market for many, many decades. It's a bowl, cover and stand. Uh, the porcelain was made and decorated in Vienna at the Dupacchia Porcelain Factory around about 1730. And it is thought that all of these gold-mounted pieces were made for the Holy Roman Emperor Charles VI uh, for the court in Vienna. What you can see of the painted decoration, it shows typical Viennese Baroque ornament. And you see the same pattern on the stand, inside the bowl, and beneath the cover. So there's no doubt at all that these three pieces belong together. And then to make an already lavish object even grander, they've added these incredible pierced gold mounts. And I think these are among the finest quality gold mounts of the Baroque era of the early 18th century. On the cover you can see, again, typical Viennese Baroque ornament and little vignettes showing landscape scenes and sea creatures. And the quality of this work is exceptional. The mounts are not marked, but this is also an indication that they were made for the court because the goldsmiths who worked directly for the court were not required to mark their work. This was only the second porcelain factory to be founded in Europe after the Meissen factory. It was founded in 1718 with an imperial privilege, but it was a private porcelain factory and the owners had to seek patronage from the court. And one of the ways in which they could do so was to produce lavish objects like this. An item such as this, mounted in gold, was never intended for use. These were purely precious objects for display and gold mounted objects like this were given as diplomatic gifts or as presents within the imperial family. According to the tradition, um, this particular piece was a gift to one of the princesses, the imperial princesses, most likely Maria Theresia, who became empress herself in 1740. Objects like these really embody Vienna in the Baroque era, both in their lavishness but also in the ornament. The painted ornament and the gold both reflect the designs of the palatial interiors for which objects like these were intended.